What's up guys? Uh, just want to show you how I'm using the ECU Explode to view my log and the car. So uh, using the ECU tools logging software, um, it's about 75 parameters at this time I have. I'll show you quick. It's very have, uh, helpful. Uh, Logging tool. So as you can see, all these, um, all my parameters that I need to log to monitor uh, pretty much my engine health and everything and performance. Webcam never gonna do that much parameters. You can use less than that, but for me, I need all all this because, as you know, my car is the turbo. And I would like to see all this at the same time. Also, I will be adding the future to use tune the not the tune, sorry, the lock the transmission as well. You gotta work on it. So that will be awesome. <clears throat> Alright, so this is all my preset parameters for the logging. It's about 75 of them. So I'll close that. Pretty much when you use it, log it, you will have the file right it's right here this is cut out close cut out open that's i look already and modified to to view that on ecu explode by the way ECU explode you just type the name on the google and it will automatically direct you to the link and you can download it it's for free you don't have to do anything buy or pay so it's free tool it's pretty awesome so, but to view that, to view those logs on ECU Explode, you gotta modify the file a little bit. I'll explain you how. So this is your typical uh, screen of the log. So what you have to, to do, you have to delete everything from the top all the way to those names, up to those names. So it means you have to select it in the corner here then you go to all the way to the right side and the last column is gonna be here so you select press shift and click the mouse button or oh, button you see you just keep the names names and then you go numbers so that's what you gotta do delete also you have to do clean pass let's say you start button logging only when you're ready that means you driving the car second gear and you're ready to punch it right you press the start and it start logging then you did the pull all the way whatever let's say 70 like my car is 70 7, 7200 rpms then it shift to the third gear so then you press stop what you have to do after that because it's it's reading all rpms right it will mess up view on a, lo a logging tool I mean an ACUX plot so what you have to, to do you have to delete after 72 after 7200 rpms you have to delete everything below so you keep from whatever 2000 rpms up to 72 only uh, I did already file I'll just show you here is my file right as you can see I stopped one second let's go up up here we go I'll show you there was my RPMs and it's all the way all the way to here so yeah this is my RPM so I stopped at 73,000 whatever is below we have to delete then you can watch um, view the log clearly so let's go and see the log go ACU explode uh, file open file you direct to your folder whatever the file you keep let's say this one right fast time fast time I don't know why it's not showing sometimes it shows sometimes it's not it's very good tool to measure your uh, performance of the car every new revision of the ECU tune you, you will see the difference of the acceleration which it's really cool stuff 
Sometimes it works, sometimes not, I guess. You gotta set this correctly. All right, so let's go here. Let's say calculated engine load, right? X SS, you always choose RPMs, always RPMs. That's your X over here. Y and Y2, you can choose whatever parameters you like to use. Let's say ambient air temperature, right? It's about uh, nine Celsius. That's fine. Engine calculate, engine load. So that's what I heated from 1500 RPMs and it goes all the way to 7200 7, 7, sorry so this one is done let's say I want to see I want to keep this in the X, uh, Y axis and Y2 axis let's say I want to see fuel parameters right let's see let's say um, lumbar set point so here is the lumbar set point that's how it's requesting from the for the ECU to keep the my fuel. Also, you can, you know, it's it's pretty cool tool. It's very easy to see what's going on around it. All right, guys, that's for your tip. Uh, enjoy the new tool.